this Spirit of the Outdoors. Welcome right here to my Spirit of the Outdoors junk bean. <laughs> it just happens to be where I got this bottle right here set up. Get on, Roscoe, a minute. Go on, I'm cooking. Go on. Um, I wanted to cook in this disc blade. You can fry about anything in this disc blade you want to cook. And it don't take but a handful of oil. So, while y'all wasn't looking, I know y'all wasn't paying attention. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with y'all. You, you're going to have to pay better attention if you keep up with everything going on here. Me and Brody got over there with that uh, meal. I don't know exactly what you call it. I mean, it's a, a it's not a grist meal, but it's a, a meal to grind up corn and the corn meal. So, it's a M-I-L-L -L to make M-E-A-L. That makes sense for you. It, it makes sense if you don't think about it. We got our fish milled, and I didn't put them in there. Now I did not sift it. Um, now you could tighten that thing up and make it grind fine, fine, but I didn't. Oh, uh, and I caught a few crappie down there on the creek the other day. I mean, I laid into them. Caught about eight. <laughs> And I fillet, I don't know, I might have had 10. I really didn't count them. I guess we could count the fillets and half the fillets. That's how many fish we caught. So Brody left with his mama there. They, they took off to the Sonics. And uh, I left this very coarse. I don't know if y'all can tell. And I'm going to fry these fish right here in this thing. So while I'm, and it don't take it long to get hot. I don't have a way of checking the temperature. Oh, uh, and forgive all of my stuff. I gotta get this pot right here and clean it up. Me and JR cooked chitlins in it and uh, I what rinsed it out, you know, but I never did really scrub it. So when I get through cooking, I may put some water in it and put it on here and get it hot. Uh, Y'all, I, I have filmed a lot in the last several days. And the sad thing is, is there's probably twice that much going on I'd like to film. We can turnip greens. Uh, we're going to can them tonight, or my wife is. I went squirrel hunting today, filmed part of that. It, I didn't do a real good film because I hunted and killed a few squirrels before I ever started filming because I know how that filming cuts into my squirrel killing, it, you know. And... Uh, but there's been a lot going on. I've been down there peeling on pine trees. I got all of my logs peeled for the post and the beams to lay the rafters on. I have not cut and peeled the rafters yet. So As soon as we get a burn ban lift, I'm itching to do that. Uh, temperature is supposed to drop right about Halloween, get us a little sprinkle of rain. Probably ain't going to rain no whole lot. But that being said, if it do rain... I'm going to get down there and, and uh, as soon as it dries up enough to start a fire and burn it before everything dries out because we've got a lot of wind blowing and I'm right next to the woods and man, if that thing gets out at least a little bit, I like to have a mess. So I don't want to burn up creation. I don't know how long this needs to go. I'm having to play this by feel. I believe it'll fry. All right, I'll bring y'all over here where you can watch. Like I said, now y'all have to forgive all my junk laying around over here. Oh. That ain't, that ain't really quite hot as I like. May regret going ahead and putting them in there. One thing, my fire's over here to the side a little bit. I needed to assume. There. That's what we should have done right there to begin with. Using little blocks of wood down there to them up my stuff here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll put them in there too early. I gotta get something out to grab them and flip them around and whatnot with. Give me a second. Did gum y'all about forgot I was filming. I was sitting over here fixing a snack on them. Oh. But now what I'm doing to let the grease drain out on this, this is a good deal right here. You shove them, it's done up to the edge like that. And I done turned this grease way on up. I didn't near about have it hot enough while ago. Oh. Now you can't cook a whole bunch at a time like this. But hey. If you low on grease, this right here is a ticket. I, we're going to do a lot of snacking right here. One thing, my daughter is leaving. She's not going to be here. Brody and Marie Laveau wanted to go to the Sonic, so really I'm the only one going to be eating any crappie tonight, so, you know, may eat them all sitting right here right out of the skillet. We ain't in no hurry. Uh, it's Friday night. And y'all probably won't see this video till next Friday. I'm getting stacked up on video. And I've had some technical difficulties. I had to fire my video editing software. It it filled a terabyte on my new Mac that I just got at the first of the year. It had it had put over. I had 800 gigs of stuff on there, and over 500, almost 600 gigs was stuff at that thing had just loaded the background and when I delete stuff it was just saving it you know like it might want to do something with it later on I had to download a program to clean the mess up with so I'm having to learn how to operate a new editing software I have tried two or three and the curse of it is all they want you to convert all your files over to something else Y'all, it's always something. I, it ain't nothing ever just gonna work for it like it's supposed to. So I had a couple of different ones and I deleted them back off. Um, and I'm bad skeptical to download something that's expensive. Man, y'all know that that Premiere Pro, like the top editor, is $300. Yeah, you heard me right. $300. Uh -uh. Uh-uh, and not when I got iMovie for free on there. Ain't, ain't happening. Not for this old country boy. I don't do no whole bunch of fancy stuff, but I had to start putting my own watermark down in the bottom corner to make it look more professional. And iMovie won't let me... I can put it on there, but it takes up the whole screen. So I may have to figure out how to... to, to adjust, I don't know. I might can figure it out. We'll just have to see what I can do with it. But anyway, we're going to sit here and cook at these fish right here and see if... Oh, I know what I didn't do. I don't know what I didn't do. That bucket, it got straight cornmeal in it, y'all. I ain't even think about putting no sauce in it. I don't know why either. Them right there be salty. Alright, now let's put some of this eat them raw. Y'all know about that eat them raw season? Eat them raw! Now let's meal this up good. Roscoe over here acting like he wants a bite. Look at him, y'all. He done lay right there at y'all's feet. You didn't even know it. He been snuck up and bit one of y'all and y'all wouldn't even know it. <laughs> I'll be so glad y'all I keep talking about it when I get moved around on my back porch and all my cooking stuff set up back there. I like cooking. I don't like all this junk back around. It may not bother y'all, but it's driving me nuts being out here. And I ain't got nowhere to put all my stuff. You know what I mean? That sack back there is full of corn that I'm grinding up to make cornmeal. That radio is here. It's the only CD player that I got in captivity that still halfway works. This crock pot, that's my crock pot I make my medicine and whatnot in. I got a bunch of deer antlers over there in crates that I've, you know, used for projects and cutting boards back there. A bunch of that stuff's gonna go to a, a 
we're going to organize that back patio. I ain't going to let it get all on like what this mess is. That's going to get dumped over, y'all. That's nice. I better send it back over here behind me. Roscoe will be decided he wants him a bike to catch himself. Y'all, I am planning on doing a live here in a little bit, so I am trying to get done, and I don't know what. I guess so, I ain't in no big hurry. I still need to feed them chickens. That's all of it. I'm going to save that there cornmeal. I need to put me a, a lid on top of that bucket. I'll have to go look and see if I got there. That's a country rig. We don't ever buy the same brand of uh, ice cream. I like these square buckets because they, you can stack them in the refrigerator good. But now I like it, ice cream in the in the round bucket better. I think. Mmm. We better pray. Lord, we so thankful for this food and these fish. We pray, Lord, that you bless them to the nourishment of our body, that it gives us strength and good health, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask you. Amen. I got a whole bunch of new rags right here. Old Tony Parker, when he come up here the other day, he brought me some. He said he had a bunch of them. I told him I knew where to put them. Right on top of me. I like rags. You get our bite. He's licking them chops like he did, ain't he? He's a good dog, y'all. Hard to find a better dog than him. Well, y'all, I just cut the gas off. Man, I'm, I'm gonna sit right here and eat him. Brody just pulled up, but he went to the house. I thought he might come down here, but he didn't. Oh, that's going to catch now. I also hear a lot of folks say, you can't give a dog bone. I uh, you can't. God, no. I don't know how in the world they kept them alive back before they made that Alpo you buy at Walmart. Well. <coughs> I got an uncle over here. While I was working off, he raised my bulldog on fish. He'd go fishing about three times a week. He'd catch about eight or ten brim, and he'd come home, and he'd clean them and cook them, and he'd eat about five of them, and he'd give him dogs. He had a dog over there named Turtle, and them dogs would eat more fish than he did. But I will say, you take an old dog that you've just been feeding dog food, and that's it, and throw him some bones, it probably will kill him. Yeah. Probably ain't nobody else gonna eat these on these. I just caught the cook these for me. <laughs> hey. Look, y'all, I didn't wanna make no great long video ideas. I just wanted to film it. 
just because I was using this disc blade. Thank y'all for watching the Spirit of the Outdoors. Remember, the best way to do things, by all means, is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all have a good one. That's why Roscoe likes when we have crappie, these rib bones. When we have brimble, ain't nothing but nuggets, and I don't ever give him a bite.